<laughs> but then were, were, were you producing solo or were you in quick doing co-production or how did that relationship change then? Um, eventually after Death Row, Quick and I, I started doing um, uh, solo stuff around like we did um, uh, Tony, 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 Let's Get Down. Oh, Hitler. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So after that, I got called to do R. Kelly. I did a record on R. Kelly, um, one of his biggest dance records. It's called Home Alone. It's yeah, with Keith uh, Murray. Was yeah. Kelly Price on that? Yes, and Kelly Price. Yeah. Okay. So I so I produced that record, and that was actually my first. That was my first solo production record. Now, how is that possible? Because we all would assume that R. Kelly does everything. You know, he he was one of the greatest writers and producers. So. How does it? How do you get called to say come and do a track for R. Kelly on one of his best albums? Well, um, you know, R. Kelly, he liked um, our style, mm. and at the time, he was managed by a guy named Barry Hankerson. Yeah, Ali's uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and Barry, um, Barry. Me and Barry had the same attorney. Okay. Oh, you got your own lawyer. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, so my my attorney at the time, um, his name was Jock Shirley, and Jock, um, my name was mentioned, um, as far as, um, for doing a record. So when my name was mentioned, they took it to R. Kelly, and R. Kelly was like, "Yeah, you know," because R. Kelly wasn't known for doing club records at the time. Mm. He did more ballads. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So I was the first one to give him a club record. Mm. You know, so, you know, R. Kelly wasn't capable of producing that style. Yeah, that yeah, good. okay. He was a, you know, he was a balladeer. Mm. So I gave him his first club record. And and uh, so I did the music and then um, Kelly Price wrote, um, Kelly Price and R. Kelly wrote the lyrics. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, what what and, came first then? The the music or the lyrics or what? The music. Okay. I sent them, I sent them. I did like three different tracks, and uh, he chose one of them, you know. And um and then they wrote to it, and then uh, Keith Murray happened to be in in the studio with them at the time. Okay. So Keith heard the track, and then Keith uh, jumped on it, got on it too. Were you there recording with them, or, or how does that no. work? No, you know, um, R. Kelly always recorded his own vocals. Oh. Yeah, so they recorded it in Chicago, and then they sent it back to, sent it back to me in L.A. But did you get to meet him then? Yes. Yes, I met him. I met him uh, a few times. You know, when, when he came to L.A., um, uh, you know, we talked over the phone a lot back then. Um, but I met him a few times. So um, so that's because you you are credited as the producer of the track and producing the ranger, but it is strange that you it's not as if he was out in 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 Taiwan that you couldn't be in the same studio recording. So you know, I know it was East Coast and I uh, don't know no, well the Midwest and West Coast. How come there wasn't a sense of hey, let me come down to to Chicago, you come over to LA, so we can we can re- we'll work on it together. Well, because the artists of his uh, of, of his status, you know, they don't he they they don't need me to produce their vocal. Okay. You know, if he was a new artist, maybe, you know, like you know, I would back then. It was it's like today. It's like you know, I I'll send a record out. You know, and you have your own studio, you record it, and you send it back, and then you know I fix it and mix it. Like it's that easy. Okay. So, okay. So you know, back then. Everything was on um, on reel to reel on a, on, on, on two inch tape, so they had to. I sent the track to them, they recorded it, and then they had to send me the tapes, the reel to reels. Okay. And, yeah, and, and then I, you know, I fixed it and did my edits and mixed it, and then I, you know, I sent it to him, and you know, he liked it, he approved it, changed this, changed that, fixed this, and yeah, it was like that. Now, did you produce it? Did you produce Home Alone um, by yourself, or did Quick get involved? No, Quick wasn't involved with that record. Quick, uh, Quick was actually working on. Quick, Quick actually started um, his fourth or fifth album, I think, at the time. 
So so he he was getting started on that, but I did um I did Home Alone um uh, uh, by myself, entirely by myself. Yeah, so you're credited as the the sole producer on it, but and uh, you know um as we're going, SMS one thirty said that Quick was cr- said he ghost produced it as on un- credited producer on it, but I I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah there was there was a uh, you know there, there was a time where you know Quick felt like um the drums that are are on that record Quick actually gave me those drums. Ah, okay. And um, Quick. Quick did play, he played, Quick played some percussion on on, on Home Alone, on, on the record, but he didn't produce the record. Okay. Yeah, so he came in um, after the record was done and he played like, you know, percussion on it and, you know, mm-hmm. a couple of, but you no, know, I, I produced it. I, you know, I wrote it. I came up with the idea. Yeah. I did the music. And there was yeah. no falling out of it uh, with you, you guys on it. Oh. No, no. I mean, you know, Quick and I, you know, we, you know, we're we're like brothers. Yeah. So, you know, of course, you know, we're going to have disagreements at times, and you know, I may do something or he may do something where you know we don't agree with, and and uh, you know, we may not talk for a couple of days, but that's my brother. <laughs> okay. You know, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's that's my brother for life. So, you know, we 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 actually, you know, we act like brothers. You know, yeah. you know, we we love each other. You know, sometimes we don't like each other, but, you know, you know, he can say, you know, fuck G1, but, you know, nobody else can say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's good. As I said, I didn't, re- as as we were going live, um, it's good that, you know, somebody brought it up and, you know, and, and to just to say, and, 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 and just to clear it up. But the... Um, the song, I mean, oh goodness, it, and as I said, it is it is a bouncing track, and it it it, it was different for R. Kelly because it had that sort of West Coast sort of um, funk um, and, and bounce to it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member? That's a way of supporting the channel but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat. Sweet.